All I want to do is listen to my crime podcasts and watch my true crime shows. I'll tell you a scary story. You are not as good as Dateline. Watch. Let's dim the lights. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm the world's okayest mom. And if you... Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm the world's okayest mom. And if you're a parent like me living in this day and age, technology is a big deal. I feel like I use screens all the time as a crutch and as a babysitter for my kids. I got screens on screens on screens. So I wanna try something. For a whole week, I'm gonna cut the cord for my entire family. And hopefully it brings us closer together. Maybe it'll drive us insane, but we'll see what happens. So wish me luck. So the rules in our house were no TV, no internet, no use of phones, and no electronic games. As far as me and Matt, when we're at work, we're allowed to use our computers. We're allowed to keep our phones on in case of emergency with the kids. We just weren't allowed to use anything for any other purpose besides strictly work. So no browsing social media, no scrolling through BuzzFeed articles to find out which type of cake I am. We couldn't even use our phones to stream audio while we were driving. Oh, and one more thing. Obviously, I need to use my camera on my phone to make this video. So that's something that was also happening. <sighs> They're up early, and this is when I let them watch a little TV. But we're not going to do that, so I'm going to get up and play. They always wake up super restless. I feel like that's just the thing with young kids. They wake up and they're like, where are we going? I wanna get dressed, I'm hungry. They're always hungry. So I had to get up too. Wyatt, we're not watching TV today. <laughs> Don't, Wyatt. Don't turn it on. Turn it on, Wyatt. Don't do it. Do Don't be a bad influence. Turn it on. We're just gonna play today. Uh -huh. we're gonna play. Oh, he mad. No, we're not gonna play video games today, remember? Now, I thought that that morning was the worst of it, but I didn't realize just how much we would have to detox throughout the day. Jackson, put it away. Ah! <laughs> put it away. Okay, I'm gonna count three. Why are you two, such a no-no? One. You're such a no-no. So I can't check my work email. I'm kind of dying. It's only been like half a day and I'm kind of struggling. I know I check my work email on the weekends and I know you shouldn't and I know that you're supposed to just turn off when you go home, but I am super high strung and a little bit obsessive. I think a lot of that stems from being a working parent. I always worry that things are falling between the cracks because I'm dividing my time. I want to call my mom and we don't have a landline. <laughs> The first casualty of this week was a plan that I'd made to see my mom the first day. I was gonna see her this weekend, and so now I don't know what to do. There was no way for me to get a hold of her to coordinate meeting her, so I didn't even know if it was worth driving over because I could just show up and she wouldn't be home. Sorry, Mom. She understands. She doesn't. However, one thing that didn't suffer this week in our house was the music. We're gonna say bye to Google. Bye, Doodle. Any last words? We're gonna we miss you. Not well, because we're unplugging her. Goodbye, Google. <laughs> we are luckily very hipster parents, and we have an old record player. So we whipped that out this week and just played a bunch of records, and it's always really fun. The kids get excited about that, too. Halfway through the first day, I was already so bored. I think we were all so bored. So what we ended up doing for a good few hours was just clinging. I share a bathroom with three boys. Oh man, this is just, oh, look at that toilet. This is amazing, we even cleaned the bathtub. I think the kids were so mad, but I was really pleased at the end. So today, the kids are getting a little restless. So we're gonna get out of the house again. We're gonna go to a flea market. I love doing flea market days because there's so much to see and so much to do and the kids get a lot of you know walking and exercise and they have a really fun time just checking out all the cool stuff that they have to offer. One thing I did not think of is at the flea market, like the whole point of going is I try to get good deals on stuff. The way I do that is by Googling what it is and seeing how much it costs on other websites. So there are these super cute leather boots 
They're $50, they fit me perfectly, they're so dang cute, but I don't know if I'm getting a good deal. I don't know what to do. I got a few crystals, because I'm pretty savvy with what's a good deal on crystals. And I got a lucky penny. He found a lucky penny. And I just, I didn't get the boots. I, I didn't want to risk it, you know, when you're- And I'm gonna get Pokemon A family cards. of four on a budget, you can't go spending 50 I'm bucks on something Pokemon that's not a good deal, so. And I'm getting Pokemon We'll cards. see. $250. I could have gotten those boots for 50 bucks and they're $250 boots. Oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. I'm so mad right now. Monday was a holiday, so we just sucked it up. I packed everyone in the car and we drove to my parents' house in hopes of finding my sister Stella. We are headed to the park to exert some energy. Because we need to get outside desperately. What better way to distract ourselves from no technology than by going to the park? Set, go. And this park doesn't even have service. Hold on. So I'm not tempted to use my phone. He's sleepy. And the park was really nice. Honestly, I really enjoy the days that we go there and just spend the day and have a blast. It was nice to be able to see my sister. Overall, Monday was a great day. And I didn't even Instagram about it. So technically, it never happened. So Tuesday, first day at work with no technology, and right off the bat, I knew this was gonna be a rough week. My round trip commute is around three hours. So that's my time that I really utilize podcasts. But without using my phone and plugging it into my car, I really had nothing to listen to. I'm not gonna listen to the radio because let's be real, the radio doesn't even play music anymore. So my solution. Remember these? I love Borns. Borns, if you're watching this, my birthday's in July and I would really love a private concert if you're available. <laughs> and I also really love Kate Bush for anyone who is as old as I am. So I got those two CDs and I felt like I was pretty set for the week. I know I was so excited to find two CDs and purchase them for my car, but uh, of those two CDs, there are only about seven songs that I like. So for the past week, I've just been listening to those seven songs over and over and over. So now I've resorted to driving to work in silence. <laughs> Jackson had a little bit of a hard time letting go of his technology. Uh, uh, put that away. Are you guilty? You surrender? <laughs> How was tonight with no TV? Good. Are you okay that I took away your game? I love you. One thing didn't even dawn on me that I didn't realize until that night. You know what else I realized? We never text. We can't we text, text during the day. Did you even notice? Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't even notice I wasn't texting. I have no one to text. <laughs> <laughs> if people aren't texting me about my kids, there's no one for me to text. When Jackson gets a phone, I'll be, have someone to text. Now Wednesday for me was a really busy day at work, but it was a different kind of busy. I was actually in an all day long workshop from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. All day long. <laughs> By Wednesday, I was flat out struggling, which I didn't think was gonna be the case. I thought it'd be the kids having the hard time and me doing okay, but the kids seem to be doing just fine. And in fact, they surprised me. Jackson, all on his own, got out a book and just started reading while I cook. How cool is that? Jackson, you're doing awesome. What activity do you want to do? Stamps? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So Thursday was Wyatt's turn to kind of have a hard time and melt down. What do you want? Wyatt, Google's not on right now. Whenever I said no, he just, he couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> At one point, he actually said to me, Stop taking my stuff away. Stop taking your stuff away. I felt his pain. He was very inconsolable and he was very upset and I, I wholeheartedly understood where he was coming from. It's tough, I know. Today's the last day. It's the last day. It's okay. 
okay. It's okay. It's okay. So by Friday, we were all just really sick of each other and and really sick of this experiment. And that's when literally hit the fan. I am in the bathroom trying to fix my hair. I leave Wyatt out there unattended for all of five minutes and he rushes in here presenting me with a giant in his diaper that he's ripped off of his butt. And this is why I need cartoons. At this point, I will take Caillou. I will take anything. I need him to watch something for five minutes so that I can do my hair. I, there's no one to blame but me. But the silver lining was something really special that happened. You guys will never believe what I just found. Boom! <laughs> Most of you probably don't even know what this is, but it is a CD holder for all my burned CDs. And I am so excited. I feel like I just struck gold. I hit the jackpot here. Okay, I don't have too much to work with, but I am really curious to try this uh, camp CD out. It doesn't even look too scratched. So maybe I'll give it a couple. Okay, right off the bat, it's Clay Aiken. <laughs> maybe this is why I didn't have any friends. What did I learn from this week? A whole lot. First and foremost, I learned that while we're not the worst at utilizing technology and social media and screen time, there's a lot that we can cut out of our daily routine. Two, I learned that I need to step back from work a little more. As a working mom, I know that I feel two steps behind everybody else. I have so much that I'm responsible for and so much that I'm keeping track of that I'm always utilizing my time away from work to catch up on anything I missed. But I need to remind myself that that time away from work is my time. And that time is important. It's important to just take the time away. And third, while there is a lot of technology that's a little excessive, I think that there's a healthy balance and there's a lot of technology that we use that enriches our lives. For example, calling my mom in the morning and calling a friend who lives out of state. It keeps you connected to the people who you don't see on a daily basis. And if you're not overdoing it, I think it's just super useful and important to maintain. And fourth, I learned that I was a weird kid with horrible taste in music and I'm kind of proud of it. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah and I have to know, have you tried something like this? Have you reduced your screen time or even for your whole family? Let me know in the comments, tell me how it went or you can text me, this is a real number and I do read every single message. I don't always respond to them all because I get a lot, but I love to hear what you guys have to say. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I only have about 50 hours of podcasts to catch up on on my ride home. So I will see you guys later. Till next time. Oh, don't need these anymore.